everybody. How's it going? This is Ryan from the Sound Blaster team, and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on the Sens 3D Block Creator tool. The Sens 3D Block Creator tool comes with the Sound Blaster X Sens 3D camera, and it does exactly what it says it does in the title. It creates blocks, and those blocks are for Minecraft. Um, it allows you to take objects, scan them in, and bring them into your world and even build with them. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Um, in the beginning here, uh, when you open up the software, you're going to have two options. Uh, start a new project or open an existing one. You can open up the existing ones to go in and edit it with, uh, with some of the uh, voxel editing tools inside of the software. We'll cover that in a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and kick it off with a new project. So we start this new project here and you can name it whatever you want to name it, save it wherever you want to save it and you have the different options down here. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and name my pro uh, project here and I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what we're going to be scanning. I'm going to go ahead and name this Pickle Rick. And uh, you can choose down here your types. So you have uh, Minecraft head, a full object uh, or full block face so you can scan your face and put it on your um, character inside of Minecraft uh, or an object which is what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to click the object um, button there and then you have a couple more options here um, closed gaps is something that I always choose with mine and what closed gaps does is uh, when you're scanning the object sometimes the infrared scanners and lasers might not close up areas it'll just leave them open which will leave your model hollow um, by closing gaps what happens is it's going to make sure that the surfaces get closed um, you can technically move the camera around the object if you want to but we find that uh, keeping the object or keeping the camera steady and, and spinning the object in front of the camera gives you the best and most accurate scans so closing gaps lets you uh, do that and does a really good job of sealing the model if you will and then size so size switches basically between two resolutions. You have the standard or the extended. I typically choose extended because I like to have the additional detail. If you choose standard, it's going to be more ideal for very, very simple um, objects um, like a vase or some kind of simple, you know, uh, very easy, uh, simple object. Extended gives you a bunch more detail. It basically doubles the amount of voxels that the object is going to be created in. Um, so I typically choose extended. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and uh, click create. And once you cre click that create, you're going to come into this window here. And this is the 3D uh, modeling and editing um, interface. Uh, you can ob you right click and you can pull and drag however you want to. And uh, let's go ahead and click up a uh, look up a real quick um, what we have here on the menu item so we have a few options save and export save is going to allow you to save your project file like I uh, mentioned at the beginning where you can load them up for uh, future editing export allows you to export this out to a minecraft resource pack um, we'll get there at the end of this scan is going to go ahead and start the scan and then you have your manipulation tools here as well as a select and delete and I'm going to show you the select and delete a little bit later after we've scanned our model you can actually go in and edit individual voxels or pixels if you will uh, after the scan to clean it up a little bit so once you go ahead and you uh, are ready and you got everything set up we have two more tutorials one is the setup for this how to get it going and scanning and getting the best scans and then we have another one which is all about importing the objects and building with them in Minecraft uh, but once you're ready here, let's go ahead and click scan. And once you click scan, your camera is now pointing at your object. You got it all set up as we outlined in the uh, setup tutorial. And you're going to see uh, your object here in space. Now, uh, my object is kind of flicking back and forth. And this green box indicates that you are in range of the model. This model has a bit of reflection to it. So uh, it kind of staggers back and forth. But it doesn't matter here. Once you get this green box, you can go ahead and click start and that, you know, you knew that the object was in the range of the camera. So right now, once I click start, we are scanning and the infrared lasers and the uh, infrared, um, you know, sensors on the camera are looking at this object in 3D and scanning in real time now. And we have this on a Bluetooth turntable. So I'm going to go ahead and start rotating our model here. And what happens is 
the camera is now scanning in all of this. It's taking in the depth, it's taking in the color, and it is scanning it in real time. And you can see as we scan in real time, it's filling in pixels and adding details. And it looks incredibly low res here in the scanning process because we're focusing more on the actual scanning portion and not delivering an accurate image. But you'll see at the end how detailed uh, the actual scan is. So we're going to go ahead and do a full rotation around. And we got a pretty good see as it filled in that last gap in his eye. And then what I like to do is I also like to rotate it the other way so that the camera can get uh, the object and the light reflections and whatnot from another point. Um, so it fills in and you can see how it becomes even more detailed as we do this second rotation. It's making some more decisions on, okay, that's what that should be. Um, it's getting a lot more information once we rotate around this way as to what exactly this model is. And this is an incredibly detailed model. There's a lot of detail in here, a lot of different color variations. Uh, the hands in this Pickle Rick Rat suit, Funko Pop, are pretty intricate. All right, so we've created and rotated around two times. And once you've rotated around, you feel like you got a good sense of the object. And you can rotate as many times as you want. I find that two times typically gets you a lot of detail. Um, if you wanted to rotate more just to kind of get even more accuracy, you can. But for our purposes, we'll go ahead and just do the two. You click Finish. And once you click Finish, it's going to take that information it just did and create, show a 3D scan over here, and it's going to create and convert that into voxels over here. So this is our scan that it actually made of the Funko Pickle Rick model. So this is what the camera saw as it was rotating around. And you can see the back here is just incredibly detailed. Um, it's a lot less reflective on the back. The front is quite reflective and it does a good job even with that. You can see the feet are pretty amazingly detailed and we got this cool Pickle Rick and this is what I'm talking about on the fill gaps. This filled in the top because it didn't quite get the top but we can go in and fix that if we want to. Now on the right hand side you can see what your blocks gonna look like. So you have this really cool uh, you know Pickle Rick block um, that you can build with inside of Minecraft now. I mentioned a little bit earlier uh, the editing capabilities. So let's say we don't quite like a particular voxel in our object. Let's say we want to clean something up, even though this is pretty darn accurate. Um, you know, well, okay, let's take this little pip here. So let's say we don't like that pip. So we can click select up here at the top. You can see my mouse. And you go ahead and you, you move in and it'll highlight different voxels in the actual creation software here. And we're going to say we don't like this particular one. So we're going to select that voxel and it highlights it, lets you know, yep, that's the one. If you right click, it will actually, oh, sorry, you go in here, you click delete and it deleted that voxel. And now we got even a cleaner version of that hand on that side. And you can go in and clean some of these gaps if you want to, or just leave it as is. I mean, it is Minecraft. It's your imagination. But now you have your very own Pickle Rick rat suit that you can bring into Minecraft and uh, make your own. Pretty awesome stuff done in a matter of minutes. And uh, this is now going to be able to be played with inside of Minecraft. Uh, very simple. Uh, two options once you get to this point. You can export this out to a uh, Minecraft resource pack or save it to a project file. I'm going to go ahead and export out just to show you how this works. When you go to export out, it's going to tell you, uh, it's going to give you this option here, block type. And what happens with this is you select what block type you want this to take, this model will take the place of in your Minecraft world. So let's go ahead and just choose something that's not used a lot in my world. And we're going to choose something. Uh, we're going to say this is going to be the equivalent of green glazed terracotta. Um, I, once I've done that, now when I take this out and I export it out, this is going to be associated with the resource pack um, as a green glazed terracotta. So when I export this out, I bring this into Minecraft. Uh, if I build with the green glazed terracotta uh, object inside of Minecraft, it's actually going to be Pickle Ricks from that point on. So I export out, I get to save wherever I want them to be. So let's say I want them to be Pickle Rick uh, Green Glazed. And we do that. Save out, and it's going to actually pop it right into my Minecraft uh, resource packs file for me by default. 
I click save and bam. Now that file is going to be available for me to load into Minecraft anytime I want it to. And then I can also click save up here and export this file out just in case I wanted to come back later and come in and edit some more of these voxels. All right, uh, that's it for the uh, Sense 3D Block Creator tool. Be sure to check out the setup and the Minecraft uh, gameplay and resource pack loading tutorial as well to give you a, a full idea. This product is super cool. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with it with the building our Minecraft worlds, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial.